Hey, what's up everybody? This is Todd from Your Fishing Adventure and this is going to be a quick video about how to find the depth of a lake that you've never been to before or one you've never explored with a fish finder. There's a real simple way to do it online for free and let's get into it right now. It's really easy. You just do a Google search of the name of the lake plus the words depth and map. So let's say for example you want to search for Lake Norman and the words depth map. Click on that and that's going to give you a list of sites. Among the list you'll see GPS nautical charts. Click on that one. And that's going to show you a picture of the lake and all you do is just click on the picture of the lake. And there it is. There you have it. You have all the depths right there in front of you. But it also shows you the location of boat launches. So if you look right here, there's a boat launch. Uh, you can scan around the lake to find different entrance points. It won't necessarily tell you the name of the boat launch but it does have street names listed, so you can cross-reference through any other map system. The depth on these maps should not be treated as Bible because a lot of inland lakes will be drained during the winter. They'll be down five, even 10 feet in some instances. But one thing that doesn't change are the location of drop-offs. So these maps are a really good starting point. If you've never been to a lake before or you're not sure where the drop-offs are, this is a great starting point. This also works for rivers. So I live in Pittsburgh. I often fish in the Ohio River, the Allegheny River. So if you do a Google search of Allegheny River depth and map, that's gonna get you the same thing. You're gonna see a map of the river. Now obviously the depth of the river will go up and down throughout the year. I'm not sure how often these maps are updated, but again, this will show you drop-offs and it will get you to spots where you can find fish. The key thing is even if these maps are off by a few feet in terms of depth, it can help you rule in or rule out large areas. So if half the lake is less than five feet deep, you can rule that out. If you're targeting areas that are 20 to 30 or 40 feet deep, it'll save you a lot of time, especially if you're fishing in a kayak where you cannot cover a lot of territory. The free version of GPS Nautical does not show you where porcupine cribs are or other artificial structure on the bottom to attract fish. For that, you have to find out which entity would have placed those. So for example, in Pennsylvania, you can do a search of any lake that's part of a state park. For example, I fish in Lake Arthur a lot, which is with Moraine State Park. So if you do a Google search of Lake Arthur and depth map, you'll see both the GPS nautical site and also Pennsylvania site. This time you'll click on Pennsylvania site. You can see where Pennsylvania placed the porcupine cribs. They also mark where there are submerged tree stumps. So here you click on the second link under depth maps. And there you have it, all the porcupine cribs. But the key is to know which entity manages the waterway and that one will have on its website the location of bottom structure. Thank you for watching, I hope that was helpful. Check out the other videos on this channel to see lakes that I've actually explored using these exact techniques. Plus I'm also going to post a video about how to turn a regular kayak for under 200 bucks into a fishing kayak and how to get all your equipment and everything you need for under a total of 500 bucks. But make sure to like and subscribe and click the bell so you get notification of that video. Otherwise, I will see you on the next one.